So first off, how long have you lived in Wayne County? 19 years. 19 years. Okay, so you're not from here originally. No. Well, where's home home for you? All over. Um, before here, I was in Toombs County. Okay. But, I mean, I've been everywhere. I've been Marietta, Savannah. Okay, so all over the state you've mm -hmm. been. All over mm -hmm. the Okay, and where's most of your family? Right now, my parents are in Toombs County. Okay. So that's where they ended up settling okay. down. So but. a lot of southeast mm -hmm. Georgia. Okay. All righty. And then how did you end up here in Wayne County? My husband was from here, so we met okay. in Dublin, and he was working there, and I was working there, and okay. so we got married and moved here after we had our daughter. All right. Very good. And then, let's see, what uh, kind of home do you live in? Are you in an apartment or a, a mobile home, home? home? Okay, a mobile mm -hmm. home. And are you an owner or a renter? Owner. An owner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And I'll just tell you a little bit about me too since you're sharing about you. All right. Um, I am originally from Glen County and my dad grew up in Glen County and my mom grew up in Ware County so she's from Waycross and okay. they met and both end up now living in Brunswick so my family is in Glen County and um, I live with my sister. <laughs> do you still and, uh, live in Glen County? I do. And you drive yes, here every day? Oh my gosh. It's really not too bad though because well, yeah. I'm a little closer to the north end of the county so uh -huh. I'm not too far from the county line. Yeah I guess it's not that bad yeah. you know when my daughter graduated she still lived mm -hmm. at home but drove over there to Coastal every day. Yeah. So. I mean I'll yeah, I'm about 20 minutes from the county line, and then the office is about 20 minutes mm -hmm. from the county line, so it's roughly 45 minutes or mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. But I'm from southeast Georgia. That's mostly where okay. I've lived and where my family is from. And I live with my sister, and um, she just bought her first home. We live in a little duplex together, oh, okay. so we're like roommates. <laughs> All right. All right. And so you have lived, how long have you lived in your current home? Not almost 19 okay. years. Okay, so that's your mm -hmm. same home since mm -hmm. you've lived in Wayne County. Okay, very good. So then, let me get to my next page here. I hope I don't make too much noise while I'm writing here. Okay, so the next uh, section that we're going to talk about is a little bit about um, why you have or have not adopted solar power, and if you think you ever will or will not do that. So the first question about that is, have you ever invested in any type of solar technology for your home? No. Okay, so nothing on the rooftop or on your property or anything as part of a business nope. or through a utility company. Mm -mm. Okay, all right. And with that, um, why did you decide not to have that installed, or is it just I just not? don't I don't know anything about it, so okay. I didn't even realize no that was an option or even really think about it. Okay, all righty. So who? Who do you think in your home would be the decision maker for that if it was something y'all ever decided to do? I mean, it would probably be myself and my husband okay. together. So y'all mm -hmm. decided that together for your home. Okay. So you just not really ever thought about it before? It wasn't anything that had been presented to you or that you... You know. It wasn't really mm -hmm. something you thought of. Okay. Alrighty. Then, so for our next little part here... If it was available to you, would you want to use solar power on your home? I mean, I don't know. I don't have anything really against it that I know of. I would just have to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, if I knew more information about it. Okay. I mean, obviously, if it would save me money and be just right. as good as what I got, who wouldn't? Right. But okay. Yeah, I would just have to weigh out the pros and cons of it. Okie dokie. Right. That sounds good. Do you think there's any, like, you don't feel like there's any kinds of restrictions to you getting any for your home, since you are the homeowner, mm -hmm. do you feel like that, is that something, if you wanted to do, you think you could oh, yeah. easily do, mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of, there's no restrictions? Or, right, okay. no, like, I don't know what the restrictions will be, but no, okay. not that I know of. Alright, and so this question, if you had the option, do you think you, I kind of did already ask this, didn't I, would you put rooftop solar on your home? And you said kind of you would depending on, you know, if you could find the advantages mm -hmm, for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, save a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty, excellent. So that's kind of all we really need to know for that little section. So the next topic we're going to talk about is how you categorize other communities who may or may not be adopters of solar power. So my next little section here, I got something 
can you spell out for me? Nothing tricky. Don't worry. No right or wrong. I don't know anything <laughs> about solar power at all, so I might not be any help to That's this. That's okay, because, I mean, it, we can look that up and know, you know, where solar power uh-huh. is, but what we want to know with this is just where people perceive it to be. Uh-huh. So just, you know, an average person. It's good that you don't know, like, exactly uh-huh. where it is, because we just want to know where people think it would be most likely to be. Okay. Just based on what you know about other areas or what you don't know about them, just what you think. So this next little section, um, why do you think people are, well, no, we'll do this first. Okay. So we're going to talk about where you think people might invest in solar power. So my first little map here is of the United States. Oh, my Here's goodness. A pen for okay, you. yes. Are you got a pen? Yeah, I, got, I have a pen. Yeah, here you go. Okay. So on that map, I just want I you to... I'm not good with geography either. That's okay. You don't even have to know the names of any of the states. You can just circle anywhere on the map where you think most people would adopt or invest in solar power. I mean... Just if your best guess what you think. I would think in every state, I'm sure there would be solar power, but I mean just in general, I would say like in um, like cities, you know... Um, like Atlanta, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I would guess, I mean, so, I mean, what do you want me to circle, the whole United States? I don't know. (laughs) Well, just think if, it probably is in every state, but if you thought there was a concentration of a group of states maybe that have more of it than other states, or one or two states that you think have Heavens, I don't even know what state is what. I know this is Georgia, this is Florida. Mm And Alabama, that's all I know. As far as over here, I know nothing. And that's okay. It can I'm be just going to circle just right simple. here, and I'm just going to put Atlanta area. Okay. Well, you're kind of already going to my next thing, because I do have a Georgia map specifically as well. So that one is for United States. General, uh, large. So really your answer for this is kind of you think it would be sort of equal amongst the states in different areas. In, in like big cities. cities, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, that makes sense. So you circled Atlanta for Georgia because that's our biggest city, and you would kind of guess the same for all of the other mm-hmm. states as well, their biggest yeah. state. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean biggest city. Uh-huh, <laughs> biggest state. yeah. Okay, so then same thing. That was perfect. You did just fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Georgia map, same thing, and you kind of already did it. Okay, all right. Just where you think we would have the most in Georgia. So I'm just going to circle generally around the Atlanta area. Okay. And then why did you think Atlanta again? I mean, just because when I think of large metropolitan type mm-hmm. areas, I think Atlanta, you know. Okay. Maybe Savannah somewhat, but not really as much as I would think Atlanta. But okay. I have, like, again, I have no idea about okay. Solar power, who has it, who That's don't. Okay. I know I have seen like the little solar panels driving mm-hmm. through, mm-hmm. Um, and I have like seen a lot out in very rural, rural mm-hmm. type areas. Are you talking about like the grids, like the fields? Where yeah, is that, am I there? totally wrong? Uh-huh, is that yeah, what that is? Mm-hmm, yeah, most uh-huh. likely. Yeah. Most likely. I'm trying to think where I, I just saw it. I was driving somewhere couple of weeks ago and I saw a bunch of those panels out. So Across just, Georgia somewhere? Yeah, it was in Georgia. Where was I? It was in a very rural type place, like maybe out in the field. Mm-hmm. Aren't there some out going out towards Odom? Yes, I do believe. Or uh, maybe through Odom towards mm-hmm. Baxley area. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's where I saw them. I don't know. I think Miss Wendy said that she mentioned that, too, because uh-huh. she thought she'd seen some out there. Yeah. And I drive out there, but I'm just trying to remember, too, if I've seen them out there. Uh-huh. But I think so. <laughs> yeah. Generally, if I'm not driving, I'm asleep, so I don't see anything. But if I'm driving, <laughs> I'm just focused on what I'm doing. So. Mm-hmm. But I think I remember seeing them out there. So that's about as far from a big city. And so, so I may be totally off with what I think. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. That's okay. So thinking of the big city, though, um, why do you think there might be more solar in a big city versus the more rural area? Well, because I would think that, like, bigger, um, like, businesses mm-hmm. um, that have the resources as far as money, okay. you know, or they're really looking at how to save money and uh, maybe cut down a lot of energy costs. I don't know mm-hmm. what, the, what, what I'm trying to say there, but saving energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Instead of using standard electricity, I guess. Okay, so it could come from the money side of cutting costs, but then also, kind of, are you thinking like kind of the conservation side of using less energy? Uh, maybe a little bit of both, like okay. maybe conserving 
you know, like bigger cities, uh, bigger companies that use a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Maybe they've kind of gone to that side of being able to use solar energy that mm -hmm. can cut their costs yeah. in energy. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. And they, they may have the resources to be able to do that. Like initial, like it may cost a lot of money to begin with mm -hmm. to get all those solar panels up and going, which will save you money in the long run. Right. Maybe. That's how I kind of see mm -hmm. it. I don't yeah. know. And do you think then, would you see that same thing with homeowners in big cities maybe, or more with businesses? I mean, maybe, you know, homeowners might not be able to, might not have the financial resources to be able to, I guess, purchase what they need to start it. I'm sure it would mm -hmm. might be a savings in the long run as far as paying mm -hmm. a, a regular electrical bill versus using solar power. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Am I thinking on the right yes. line or am I totally wrong about okay. how that works? Great. Is that how that works? I don't <laughs> in even general, know. that's how it so, is. I think okay. there's the higher startup costs, but in the uh -huh. end, it, you know, it yeah. evens out. And eventually you start saving. Seeing where it's a lot yeah. bigger. Yeah, savings, yeah. Do you know a lot about solar power and how Just all that works? Very general. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm you not probably even know an way more than me. Either. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. So we are just conjecturing over it together. Uh -huh. <laughs> just a it's conversation. Like I, 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 one day I saw those and I asked him, I'm like, what is that? And he's like, uh -huh. I think that's those solar power, so mm -hmm. solar power panels. So that's about all I know. Yeah. Well, what this, they look like. So this <laughs> is kind of what's going to help, this research is going to help a little bit is figuring out, you know, do people need to know more about it? Would it be helpful, you know, uh -huh. to have education on it? To some extent, so uh -huh. you know, all your answers are helping. Okay. okay. So that's good. All right, so let's see. We're doing good on our questions. Let's see where we are now. We went through the United States. We talked about the big cities there. And then we went through Georgia and talked about Atlanta. Uh-huh. All right, so we got there. Okay, so my next question, that brings us to asking about... Um, your friends or people that you know in the area. So what about most of your close friends here in South Georgia? Do you, any of them have solar power on their homes that you know of? I don't think so. Not that I know of. Okay. And then why do you think they don't as well? I would imagine the same reason I don't. just don't know about it or that it's mm -hmm. an option for okay. individual homes. I mean, so I guess with way. me, I think of it in terms of companies using mm -hmm. it but okay yeah so just not really think of thinking of it as an option mm -hmm. for a home more thinking or more so thinking of it as a business mm -hmm. opportunity mm -hmm. or for business for yeah. business use mm -hmm. okay okay 